Okay, what is the fawn response? So for those of you that don't know uh, trauma responses, there's four categories, and I've already talked about fight or flight. You have fight, flight, freeze, and fawn. So let's talk about fawn. The fawn response is your codependent and your people pleaser. So any person out there who knows what I'm talking about, because I can personally relate to this one, this is one of my trauma responses or has been throughout my life, is when children are incredibly abused when younger and neglected, they are then uh, taught to not rock the boat with their caregiver. So they learn early on that their emotional responses to things and their behavior and who they are is not okay. They're not allowed to be who they're meant to be. So you learn how to overcompensate for that caregiver by by doing everything, by people pleasing, by doing everything right, being the good kid, being the good child. If I do this, if I do this, if I do this, I'm not going to get in trouble. I won't get yelled at. I won't get beaten. I won't get screamed at. I won't have verbal things, you know, thrown in my face. And they do this and they learn at a very early age to abandon themselves. So later on, the way that this shows up is being in a relationship and with your partner and you literally bend over backwards, you abandon yourself to appease them in order to not rock the boat and keep peace. So if you are a person who attracts abusive people later on in life because of your childhood trauma, you will often attract abusive people and you will do everything you can to not rock the boat and you will overextend yourself, abandon your own needs to appease them, to make sure that there's no maltreatment or mistreatment and that everything is calm and your environment is safe. This is a way to create safety. The second part of a trauma, this trauma response, this fawning, is that you are literally going to people please and overextend yourself in order to feel worthy of love. This is the biggest one. So when you are so mistreated by a caregiver and abused and neglected and shown that you are not worthy of even basic human needs and love and attachment to that parent, you then will constantly throughout your life seek the validation and love from everyone around you to make you feel worthy of love and that you are in fact lovable. So this is the second part and component of a fawn response is that you will literally bend over backwards and lose yourself and abandon your own needs and yourself in order for people to make you feel whole and feel that you are actually worthy of love. It's pretty sad. So I know lots of you out there can relate to this um, when you are the empath, people pleaser, codependent. So hopefully that sheds some light.